Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these Mike's Mighty Good Craft Ramen. This, is the, this one is the chicken flavored ramen soup. These were $1.99 at Meyer, which I don't think is too awfully bad. It's made with organic ramen, rich broth. Looks pretty decent. 190 calories for the whole thing. And here's your other stuff for you. Here's some reading if you want to read that. There you go. Okay, so to make this, um, get the light to where I can see better. There's a fill line, uh, remove the lid, flavor packet, and the oil packet from the cup. Add room temperature water to fill to fill line inside cup, about one inch below. Um, microwave on high to bring to a rapid boil about a minute and a half, but don't let it boil over. So uh, once it starts boiling over, then, or once it starts boiling, then uh, take it out basically. Um, pour flavor packet and oil packet contents into the soup and stir. And now like this, cover it loosely and then let it sit for six minutes. Wow. You can also do boiling water on the stove if you want to, but uh, we do it in the microwave, so that's what we do. So let me see if I can get, I, I started it just so I wouldn't have to fight with it too much. Generally the noodles are all the same in these, but the flavor packs are different. So here's the flavor pack. Looks like a powder. And here's the oil, and here's the ramen, and the fill line, you can see that little dent, the dented spots around the top, that's where I'm going to fill it up. So I'm going to fill this up, and uh, put it in the microwave, and I'll be back. Okay, now I'm going to add this, the flavor pack and the oil, and this took, it actually took a minute and 45 seconds, but I tell you what, that I let it go a little bit over, and um, at 1.45, it just started kind of... Uh, the noodles kind of popped to the top. You can kind of see them rise. It wasn't doing anything. All of a sudden at 145, it popped to the top. And then within like five seconds, it was it started boiling over just a hair. So uh, it was like 150, it was boiling over. So you gotta be really careful about your timing. Once you know the timing, I think it'd be okay because it'll be the same for all these. So, so I'm just stirring in the seasoning pack. Um, luckily I put it on a paper plate because I didn't trust that it wasn't gonna boil over at all. I never trust these uh, meals that that have water that boil, so I always put them on a paper plate. Okay, so there's the paper, the powdered seasoning, and let me get this oil. The oil pack is right here. So I can get this open without teetotal making a mess. Um, I don't see an easy place to open this. It looks like there's like a little thing right here, but. Are you right here? Ah, okay. Right here on this long edge on the side, there's a little tear thing. So, don't want to get oil everywhere though. I really don't want to get that all over my hands either. Okay. So, it's all stirred up. And uh, now I'm gonna I'm just gonna lay a paper plate on top of it just to cover uh, just to cover it up and um, let it finish cooking for literally it said six minutes so so that's what I'm gonna do. Hey, right, it's been six minutes and it really doesn't look any different. It, it it probably softened the noodles up a bit, but the, as far as the the juice and the and the, the looks of it, it looks exactly the same. So I didn't I didn't show it again because it looks the same. Um, another thing about the ramen is it always wants to come out in big huge hunks of noodles so I guess you just I'm, I'm wanting to eat it like spaghetti but I mean there's no way you can there's no way you can eat that so I guess you just gotta bite it it's not a bad texture um I don't eat ramen all the time so I'm not used to those uh the softer noodles like um Kind of like Campbell's chicken noodle soup, you know how it's got the really, really soft noodles. Um, that's kind of what these are. The flavor is okay. It's not, it's not spectacular. I do have to say it's still very, very hot though. Um, even after six minutes of setting, it's still hot. So that um, minute and 40, minute and 45 in the microwave was plenty of time um, for sure. So this is just the chicken yeah, chicken ramen. 
I mean, does it have a chicken taste? Yeah, it kind of reminds you, like I said, of chicken noodle soup. Um, the noodles are a little um, longer and uh, more difficult to eat, I guess, than, than uh, chicken noodle soup, but it definitely does have a good broth to it. Um, it has a somewhat chicken flavor. I mean, it's not strong chicken flavor. I, if you were to give this to me blindfolded, I don't know that I would say, oh yeah, that's chicken flavor. It's going to be like, yeah, that's something, but I don't know what it is. So this is good. It's not bad. Like I said, I'm not a, I don't eat ramen all the time. So you may like, this may be the best thing ever. For me, that doesn't eat ramen very often. Um, this one just doesn't have a lot of flavor. It's kind of bland. Um, I did try the uh, pot noodles from, from London. I have had like cup of noodles and ramen noodles before. This one just seems to be lacking in flavor. So while it's not something I eat all the time, I have eaten them before. Um, yeah, this one needs something. So I'm gonna give this one a three. It's definitely not bad. You definitely get a full cup of noodles. It's, it's very filling. Um, I think it will be. And um, yeah, I'll just leave it at three. Hopefully uh, the, I've got like two or three more of these. Hopefully they have a little more flavor than this one. So uh, I'll catch you next time.